Hello and welcome to Linux Hint YouTube channel. This video is the part 2 of the link list in C programming language video series. In this video we are going to talk about how do you create a node in link list and how do you add multiple nodes to a single or a singly linked link list in C programming language. In the upcoming third part we are going to move on to coding and we are going to code out a linked list in C programming language. Well without any further wait let's get started with the second part. So the most important thing that you need to learn is the, a self referential structure. So what is a self referential structure? Well I am assuming you are already familiar with structures in C programming language. If not we already have made a video on structures in C programming language. You should go on to that video and learn what a structure is because everything linked list related is going to be based on structures. A structure looks something like this. We have a structure XYZ that contains some information. But I've used a term called self referential structure. So, what is a self referential structure? Well, a structure that contains a pointer of the self data type. That means, like in our example, we have the structure XYZ. Now, this structure contains a pointer variable of the data type structure XYZ. Now, why is it necessary? Why is it important to be used in a linked list? Well, an SRS or self referential structure is used to create a node in the linked list. But as a programmer, we want to write some code that is reusable. So, we define a structure that would contain the records of our linked list in two different cells. First one being the data, and the second one being a pointer variable which we have already named as the link node. Now, a link node is going to be pointing to another node of the link list. That means the structure needs to point towards another linked list structure, thus creating a self referential structure. So how do you create this node using the structure? Write a structure node with the cells integer data and a self referencing pointer struct node asterisk link. If we talk about linked list, we need to have a pointer variable that is going to be pointing to the very first node in the linked list. So in the first line within the main function, we are going to create a pointer variable of the vector type node, which is going to be pointing to the very first node in the linked list. And we are going to call this pointer the head. Next up, we want this head variable to get the memory size of a node. So for that we can use the following line which is head is equals to malloc size of the structure node. Also we can use the typecasting struct node and then asterisk but we don't need to specify it we can get away with it without even explicitly typecasting this particular malloc function. Now if we use the head pointer or in particular if we use the head and then follow it up with the data field we'll get the value placed inside the first node in the link list. And similarly if we want to access the link part of that node we can use head and then follow it up with link or the link that we get through the head pointer. Well in this particular case since we are only using a single node in the link list right now we get the value null. But if we have multiple nodes inside our link list we would get the next pointer or the pointer to the next node in the link list. Well this brings us to our next scenario where we want to add multiple nodes. Well coming to the next problem which is how to add multiple nodes in a linked list. You may simply think that you can go to the values of the second node by using head and link and within the link you are going to pass the pointer for the second node. Well true but then the head is going to point towards the second node and the reference to the first node is going to get depleted. So how do you tackle this problem? Well you tackle it by setting the head link or the link part which is referenced by the head pointer to a new variable name. So we keep the head or the starting of the link list as it is while we change the subsequent children of their link values. Well that is how you add nodes into a single linked link list using self referential structures. I am pretty sure there is still some confusion regarding the code and implementation of a single linked list in C programming language. Worry not when we go to the coding part or coding implementation of a single linked list in C programming language. 
every question and every confusion is going to be answered. So stay tuned to Linux Hint's YouTube channel and revise what you have learned in this video because that is very important when it comes to implementation of linked list in C programming language.